Hi everyone, Eileen here. Time for another Lavinia Stamps video tutorial from me to you. And today I'm featuring the fabulous Bron. She's a fairy from the new release of Lavinia Stamps uh, this month and she's absolutely gorgeous. Right, I'm going to use a couple of stencils and a background stamp called Christmas Tree Fairy for the script here. A few more bits and bobs to tell you about as we go along. Okay, let's get cracking. I have a piece of Multifarious cardstock in white and I'm going to centre it inside a Sweet Poppy Star stencil. This is a metal stencil, star shaped. I just want to make sure that my cardstock is right in the middle before putting it down onto a magnetic sheet <clears throat> and this will hold it rock solid whilst I do my blending. I'm not going to bother taping, taping up anything because there's nothing to tape. There's no um, cardstock showing. It's just where I need it in the middle. Just going to have a quick drink. I have some large blending brushes and the inks I'm using are Distress Inks, Squeeze Lemonade, tumbled glass and worn lipstick. I'm starting off with the worn lipstick and a large makeup brush. These are so quick to distribute the ink. You can use any uh, blending tools that you have um, or smoothies or stencil brushes or smaller makeup brushes. It doesn't really matter, just something to do the blending for you. So I'm starting off with the worn lipstick, popping it on. Looks blotchy to begin with until the cardstock sucks the inks down and then it smooths the ink out. So that blotchiness will go. So that's the red. Next yellow, which is Squeeze Lemonade. Change my brush. that on so I've got yellow and then of course as it goes into the red some lovely shades of orange and this pad I keep sticking the pad down but it still keeps moving so obviously the glue hasn't worked very well let's pop that down there and then I'm going to put on some blue Tumble glass. And that isn't a very wet pad either. None of them are, so I've managed to get away with not really taking any ink off. But if your ink pads are very wet, very juicy, you might have to. And you can use any dye-based ink for this. to put some more yellow in just to soften those edges there. Let's move that over a bit. Right, that should do. Move all that out of the way. I want my red brush again because now I'm going to apply a stencil. Now the stencil I'm using, again, it's uh, from Lavinia Stamps, of course, and it's uh, from the new release of stencils, and this is called Splendor. And you can, uh, what I like is that there's no um, frame, so they're really useful, these stencils, for using on gel press, so you haven't got a border that gets in the way. Anyway, I'm going to use this in a vertical position here, the pattern. And using red lipstick again, holding it tightly, and I'm just going to give 
about two thirds of the star. A stenciled image, but leaving the other third plain. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, that looks good. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's probably more than two thirds, to be honest, but it isn't. And, and you saw that I didn't remove the star stencil. I meant to say that. Left it in place, stenciled through it. So you've got a nice crisp edge then. Look at that. Perfect. Next, it's the beautiful Bron herself. So take this off of the magnetic sheet. I've got my foam stamping mat here. You can move to your stamp press if you wish, if you feel more comfortable with that. And uh, pop her in and away you go. I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black and just gently tapping and Bron is on an acrylic block. Move this over just a smidge more. Yes, that's good. All of a sudden it's got really dark here. Looks like rain. I hope that I'll have to run this video back to see that you can see okay. Right. That should do. Just checking around the edges for any surplus ink on the block as well as on the stamp. Looks good to me. So feet are going down in this pointed area of the star here. And her bottom <laughs> is just perching on the other side of the star. Like so. I think that should do me. There we go. She is so pretty. Let the ink soak in a bit and then. There we are. Oh, look at that. She's lovely. Got a tiny spot there that I've missed. Can soon sort that out. And one of her toes looks decidedly iffy as well. Uh, let's pop the ink back in there. I don't know what that was, but it's now gone. Other than that, she's perfect. So just to make sure she stays that way, I'm going to give her a, a quick blast with the heat gun. I'm not using my embossing gun. I'm using my heat it crafting tool that looks like a hairdryer but isn't. Or you can use a hairdryer, of course. That should do it. Can't see any ink coming off on that. Next, I'm going to put some text over the top, just on the one side, just down this side. And this is called the Christmas Fairy. Christmas tree fairy. Make sure it's straight. And I'm using Versafine Clear Warm Breeze. This is to match the distressed ink in blue the distress ink that I've used on the other side of the star, the tumbled glass. So first generation is off 
and then over and I would like this to be straight so it's more or less going up the top of the card press down and up yes that's good oh bit of black there look that's got to come off before I do any more because that will show through that came off my fingers and off the bottom of the block I think so bye bye black mm, it's not right it's not gone completely but enough that I will be able to not see it when I stamp the rest of the words over so I'll brush to get rid of that okay still there but it will go in a second so that means the ink would have dried on my stamp so re-inking move that out of the way taking off again make sure the stamp is up the right way and this will be second genera uh, third generation so it's got to come off again because remember I'd stamped and then stamped that so this now should be okay I want that to be straight too. Yes, that's good. And you can't see that mark anymore. So got rid of that. Couple more things to do. Not much now. Paranoid about the fingers. <laughs> oh, deary me. Right, so she's hand cupped. So she needs to hold on to something, doesn't she? So I'm going to give her a few stars to hold on to. So popping the stars on very gently because they're so easy to, um, to get lines with these stars. And don't press down too heavily when you stamp them either. It's sort of a quick down and up. Right, so very gently there. And then popping them over the top of her hand down and up, right. If you press too heavily, you splay the polymer out and you can make the stars appear to be um, spread out or rather out of focus, that's the word I'm looking for, where they've um, gone down too heavily into the card. Right, so she's, she's happy. She's got some stars that are coming to her. Lucky old Bron and... Uh, <laughs> Uh, now I'm going to do her flat, her wings now, and I'm just using Polychromas pencils just to give a bit of colour. So starting off with, and I want to really be careful of this, clean copy paper to protect my card now from my oily fingers. And just going to put some lemon up. It's moving some of the black in her wings. Don't worry about that. That's fine. And then a darker yellow going up. Not colouring in the whole wing. Just adding colour to begin with to the um, bottom of the wing. Like so. Then a bit of orange. And a bit of orange here. Use whatever colours you want, of course. And then, then a darker orange. Oh, actually, it isn't darker. It's just not as bright as the other one. And then some magenta. And I love this magenta. So pop that on there. Now this is all mixed with some of the black ink that has come in off her wing. So don't worry about that. Still looks good. Put a bit more lemon in there. And then I need to take my rubber because I may have overdone that. Whew. 
Yeah, a bit more magenta maybe. Oh, a bit more magenta there. And I've got a splodge of black there. I don't know where that's come from. It just needs soothing out. I think it's the black ink from the pad. Anyway, that's it's not too bad. I think I'll probably get away with that. Now, I'm done. Oh, got to do the edges. So back on with my copy paper and a black Sharpie, like so. And then on this one is the last one. And that should do it. Put these lids on. And then I'm taking, after checking my fingers, paranoid now, <laughs> um, taking a card blank that is uh, 15 by 15 centimetres of ish. Uh, because I've cut it from an A4 sheet and it's not quite 15 by 15, but it's close. And then just popping her on there and I will glue that down like so. And glue that down. Um, and there you go. Right, where's my display board? Pop that in there. Tidy everything around. There you go. That's the one that I've just completed. This is the one that I did yesterday. I love them both, which is handy. <laughs> and uh, I'll be back soon with something else. That was fun. I enjoyed it. Thank you for being with me. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.